Hello and welcome to this Genealogy Gems Tech Tip. I am Lisa Louise Cook and I want to show you something that might come in handy when you are surfing the web. Now, I was trying to find a uh, web page that I've been to before over at Ancestry.com, and it's a place where they have some free downloadable chart and forms. So I put the address in my web browser and I went to the page and this is what I got. Okay, it says, sorry, we are no longer available. Well, unfortunately, it didn't list here the thing that I was looking for, the page that was actually gone. Here's what you can do when this happens to you. I'm gonna go back to google.com and I'm just gonna paste here in the search box the same exact address that I used that no longer works. Now take a look at it. Typically what you're looking at when you're looking at a URL is right here, this is the page itself. And this is probably a folder that it's inside of if you think of it as folders. And that's inside of this folder and that's inside of this website, okay? So if the document that you're looking for isn't there, chances are the folder may still be. I'm just going to come down to the end and backspace and tap enter. First item on the results list, family tree templates and pedigree charts. Click this. That's the page. That's exactly what I'm looking for. It's in a different spot on their website, has a different web address. I'll have it here on the screen for you so that you can check it out yourself. Take advantage of these free charts that they have available and just be able to rest assured that when you run into a web page like this as you're doing your family history research and things aren't where they were supposed to be, digging into the URL a little bit and using Google can help you find where it has moved to. I hope you've enjoyed this tech tip. Tell all your genie friends. Be sure to click the subscribe button here at the Genealogy Gems YouTube channel and stay tuned because there are gonna be more tech tips coming your way. Talk to you soon.